Welcome into sports. Hey, the fastest show on turf will hit air tomorrow night at 10 8. Our 27th season of sideline about to kick off. We've got not one but two games of the week to headline our season premiere of Sideline tomorrow night. Winona versus Huffman. Now Winona's four-star defensive lineman Queen and Williams has committed to Alabama, hopes to lead the Dragons over a tough Huffman team. But the Vikings linebacker Terrence Harris is growing by the minute and let's just say he likes to hit people. Defensive battle tomorrow night. And what about our other game of the week? Huey Town faced in Bessemer City. And don't forget the Bessemer Academy cheerleaders will be live in studio with us here. Hey, before you leave the house, check out our new Sideline Plus app. Search WBRC in your app store, download it for free. We've got high school matchup scores, and you can send us your creative game day pictures for our Fan of the Week contest. Now the WBC heavyweight champion of the world took center stage today at Legacy Arena in Birmingham. That's where Deontay Wilder will fight Johanna Duapa come September 26th. It is finally official. To the BJCC where the Wilder folks and the city officials join members of the Bruno event team. To give us the details, Wilder 34 and 0, 33 knockouts and will fight Duapa in primetime Saturday the 26th on NBC. So a major network will try their luck against college football that Saturday night. Now for the Bronze Bomber, it's once again time to grab some great exposure. The fight will also be exposing our city of Birmingham as well. The champ tells us it will be a great nightcap to some college football that day. They got an opportunity to go see football and at the night and in their night with boxing. So I didn't see it as a competition. You know, I, I saw it as um, giving the state some entertainment for a change and, and spicing it up a little bit. Now you can find tickets to the September 26th fight by going to alabamatitlefight.com. They range from 25 bucks in the nosebleed to 300 ringside. A slew of tickets are in the 45 to 120 dollar range, so good seats are still available. Now the big question at the capstone continues, who's the quarterback? Coach Saban said it's still too early to call, but how about the big men in the trenches? Well, they're just worried about protecting whoever does get that starting job. That's something honestly that we don't even think about. Us as an offense line, us as a unit, we focus on what we do and we just try to focus on keeping the quarterback clean and protected no matter who's back there so we don't focus on what's going on with, with the quarterback situation. The scene today as Jake Coker took part in drills. He's dealing with a foot issue. Receiver Robert Foster was hard at work despite recently banging up his knee. Big Cam's got a shoulder issue and Chris Black out with a knee injury. Now he spent the last seven years in the NFL. Before that, he played wide receiver at Auburn where he never lost to Alabama. Where is Ben Abumanu spending his time these days? Yep at the University of Alabama Law School. Abu Manu is in his first year of law school at Bama. The Selma native tells me growing up, his dream of playing college and pro ball was secondary to going to law school and becoming an attorney. So Abu Manu, now 31 and recently married, studies hard while strolling the Bama campus, knowing he went 4-0 in the Iron Bowl. Ben scored three touchdowns in his four Iron Bowls, including two big scores in the 2005 Sack Brody game. He tells me the Bama folks in T-Town have been pretty nice to him, but some Bama fans still messing with him. Uh, just little pranks of you know trying to get me to say uh, the rallying cry for the school or try to get me to wear uh, uh, some Alabama kind of paraphernalia whether it's law school or anything else and so that's been part of the prank is trying to to figure out how can I still keep my orange and blue ties. Now Ben says his most memorable game was that 2005 Iron Bowl scoring this touchdown he ran to his friend Roman Harper of Bama who he also played against in high school. He told Ben, see Roman, you still can't catch me. Now, if you're looking for another area team that could really make some waves this fall, look no further than Jacksonville State University. Coach John Grass and the Gamecocks went 8-0 in the OBC, and they may just duplicate that feat in 2005. This is some video from today in the final two-a-day practice. The defense really standing out as the Gamecocks have five preseason all-conference players. JSU opens September 5th at Chattanooga. Then they head to Auburn in week two. That's it for sports. Tune back in tomorrow morning.